Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health today bringing you another episode of Science Park Fitness and today we're going to talk about another movement impairment and this is called quad dominance. Um, it has to do um, with an assortment of movement impairments that, uh, that we normally demonstrate as human beings. And this is a very common one, especially for athletes, um, and it has to do with the imbalance of force around the hips and specifically between the big polyarticular muscles, namely the quadriceps and the glutes and the hamstrings. These are power muscles that we use to, to create force in the body. Um, and oftentimes, because we, we don't have appropriate balance from our intrinsic stabilization systems, like our core canister, we have a tendency to have weak abdominals. So what I wanna show you is uh, what happens here. So this is a neutral posture um, from a side profile. So this is showing the right side of the body. And again, we have this drawn line down the body and you're gonna see that these segments intersect on this uh, neutral line. You got your ankle bone, your, uh, your knee, your greater trochanter, again, the middle of your hip socket, the vertebral bodies of the lumbar, the AC joint, and then again, the ear canal or cheekbone. That all stacks vertically. Now again, if the balance of tension between the abdominals and the glutes and hamstrings are sufficient, you can see these arrows, you can see there's an upward pulling on the pelvis from the front side and a downward pulling on the pelvis on the back side. And those are uh, facilitated through the abdominals and specifically the transverse abdominis, the deeper unit muscle, and then the glutes on the back side. So both of those muscles have a, a posterior inferior force on the hips and it helps to keep your body upright when you're moving. Now again, oftentimes we don't have sufficient abdominal control, so it doesn't support the glute and the hamstring and they're left to do all the work. And that makes them again, biased towards stability, but underdeveloped and under um, utilized. And so the body has a tendency to defer to the quad to produce power when you're running or doing athletic activities. So we end up with these muscle groupings that tilt the hips downward. And so quad dominance is typically associated with a lordotic posture or what's called lower cross. And it basically means that the back extensors and the quadriceps become adaptively shortened as the glutes and hamstrings and obliques don't properly support the downward slope of the pelvis. So we need to work on increasing the strength of these muscles and then reducing the dominance of the quads and the back extensors to resolve it. So again, this is just one particular issue of many, but it is very common and it is something that's very correctable. And that's what we do with corrective exercise strategies is to try to improve that center of mass by getting those hips underneath of you. It's called stacking or bracing. And again, one of the issues is gonna have to be the, the quad dominance being resolved in order to restore that, uh, that relationship. So questions on this, guys, remember, reach out, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com or post your comments uh, underneath this video and we'll make sure to get back with you. Again, your body's designed to move, stay in motion. We'll see you soon.